Well hello YouTube, welcome back to some more Halo the First Offensive. I am the most lovely sarcastic raptor and we're going to do another skirmish battle but on this time I'm going to play on a different map and I'm just going to play against one AI. I'm going to play on this beautiful little map which I do believe has a Halo on it. Uh, we'll play against a normal AI and they can be purple, just fit in the law. And I'm, I'm just going to play against one enemy on this game. Just so my allies don't cuck me or something like that. I should just split you up. I'll go straight for level 2 space station. Well, there's long sword bombers, or well, fire bombers, very cool. I remember first seeing them on the original Halo escorting the Pillar of Autumn in the opening cutscene. Do like Halo Anniversary, just so you can see the updated like cutscenes and visuals. Although I watched a video recently by I think it's Luke the Notable, who does a lot of Halo related content. He's a really, really big YouTuber. A lot bigger than me, at least. And yeah, I agreed with a lot of things he said about Halo Anniversary, as in about, especially with one map called the Flood Map, or 343 Guilty Spark. That the original map is actually much better than the uh, Halo Anniversary version, because it is more of a sense of foreboding in the way the map's done. Let's just try and get all these resources. We'll probably lose a few of these asteroids. And that's what I liked about it. I don't think the Halo Anniversary Edition, like, you don't get the impression that something's really, really wrong. But on the original version you do, it's a bit more of a horror element in my opinion as well. At least that's just my opinion. Uh, I want to get both the heroes. Grab as many of these as we can really. But look at that, the Sacred Ring. Let's get another fire unit just to, just to guard the home front. Uh, right, grade one of these. What else could we get? Probably get a few more. Another frigate just to beef up the fleet. Let's get in, in amber clad. See, in amber clad in Halo met a very unfortunate fate, unfortunately. Where the crew was practically consumed by the flood and the ship was used for an attack on a high charity. So a grave mind could get into high charity essentially. That's a very nice ship. I think the Enamor clad a stalwart class frigate. Let's put you there for the time being. And this is the forward on to dawn. I do want to get a lot of resources. Let's we'll get another frigate list here. Start forming like a defensive line rule. It really annoys me when you can't build like, more than one thing at once. Grinds my gears. This is a quite big map actually. I haven't even found any AI yet. I will assume they are operating. Anything else on this map worth nicking? We'll try and send our fighters to this point and assume there's anything worth taking. Needs to be earning a hell of a load of resources. Do you suppose we can speed this up a little bit? What, well, nothing is occurring? Level three. Let's get the pillar of water, Matt. And let's get two destroyer type K's, which I believe are Hellbird class destroyers. Well, they're definitely operating on this map because they wouldn't have upgraded a space station otherwise. Hmm. 
I don't know where they are really. Well, anyways, at least it's given us time to build up. Right, we're going to bring the of all of them here. Well, let's just move our fire squadrons back here. We're just going to build up a big impressive fleet at the moment. Get up another destroyer. I'd love to help our destroyers. Very, very cool ship. I've never seen a destroyer type G in Halo, so I've never known where this model was coming from. UNSC destroyer type G. We're going to have a house in glass. And let's upgrade. We can't upgrade this again. And I think we're just going to chill for a little bit until we have a very considerable fleet. This has been built. We can get another hero, which is UNSC Leviathan, which is a marathon class cruiser. Yeah, we build a Hyperion class too. Never heard of you either. Get another house in. Oh, hello. Oh god, they came out of nowhere. Some more frigates. We'll give, build them our own marathon cars. Some will build a UNSC Spirit of Fire as well. I didn't realise we had another turret we could take here. Yeah. So they keep building up a big fleet at the moment. Yeah, we probably, probably we will lose quite a few of our asteroids, but probably not about to protect them all. But as long as we spend enough money building a very effective fleet up to this point, I'm quite happy. So we're getting the spirit of fire. Uh, we could get a few. Let's get a Jericho class cruiser. Now oh, look at that fleet. It's a mighty UNSC force now. A mighty force indeed. Is this the Spirit of Fire? Oh god, it is pretty big. I suppose it is a and, and refitted colony ship, so it would be quite large. You can go on that left flank. Commanded by Captain Cutter, fame made famous on the Halo Wars games. At least this is quite a large fleet at the present. Let's just show off the Spirit of Fire, actually. Oh, that's a pretty cool ship. Do like the Spirit of Fire. Got the Pillar of Autumn. Ref and the Pillar of Autumn was a refitted housing class, which was. Extremely modern for a ship of its time. Got a Jericho class cruiser, pretty cool. Got an Marathon class, which were like retired after the war. And we have plus the UNSC hardly had any Marathon class cruisers left by the end of uh, the Human Covenant War. I think the Awesome became the staple like cruiser, although it's not. There's not as much information as I'd like about like what happened afterwards. Let's get the Everest. And let's get the UNSC Trafalgar. Then we could always build a. Hmm, is that Hyperion class too? Let's build a Hyperion class too. We're going to make sure we use quite a lot of our fleet cap up here. And what UNSC would not be complete without. Well, what UNSC fleet would not be complete without a hell of a load of frigates. This ship's the Everest, commanded by Vice Admiral Preston Cole, maybe the best general of the Human Covenant War. And this is the UNSC Trafalgar, which is a, I want to say, a puny class supercarrier. Alright, let's just deploy one of these. So 
I would be very surprised if they built up a fleet this large. Alright, well, that's it. Go for more Halcyons. Okay, no, let's look at my fleet now. Let's try and get you to an attack move up to about that stage. Just want to move the fleet out, really. No, you're being attacked by TIE fighters at the moment. This is an ex This is large UNSC fleet. Oh, the Halcyons. Very famous in Halo for being able to take a lot of damage for what they were. Let's get a scout. Hey? Look at this thing. There's a behemoth. Do 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 Halo music. Very very cool. Yeah, I think that's gonna be this the, the meme. Let's just fast forward this on a little bit. Let's also. Um, let's just queue up more some more ships just in case this goes wrong. Never a bad idea. Hyperion class is pretty cool. Not going to lie. That's okay, this, is, this just means we can bring in a huge fleet if the, this fleet is defeated. Some of their star base is going to be around at this point. That's just all the tap moves to this area. I'll fast forward this on a little bit. Try and avoid the asteroids if you can. No build driving right through it. Do not go through that. How are you lot going? Roger, Which one of our battle groups has arrived? Copy. Will this battle group be enough, though? It's a bit of fire, you're joining in. Yeah, pathfinding is a bit of a meme. Well, my super carriers, that's going through that, no, f nothing given. Hmm, just trying to find where they are, really. Where's that? Some sort of space station. Oh, that's pretty cool, though, that formation. Even if they do stop this force, I have a lot of ships coming in reserve. So I'll forward this on until we find the space station. This is looking promising. This way. On the line. We're finding some defences. The question is, has the AI bothered to build anything heavy? On the line. 
It's like the meme -y thing when they have like, they're, like build their base somewhere else. Let's ascend. Do fire squadrons just out to have a search. This is pretty strange. I don't know where their fleet is. Their space station. We do want to get all the fleets together again, just in case. You're not over here, are you? Oh yeah, it's here, okay. Well, at least now we can grab up all our ships and start heading over there. Which is for fine. A lot of our ships are just like hovering above Halo at the moment. Why you no move? Oh, you're moving now. Well, let's still just try and take this out. Get rid of a few of the asteroids, that's always handy. Oh god, all those missiles being launched by the broadsword, well, broadsword bombers here. No, longsword, sorry. Broadsword are different. What the hell is that? I do not know what that is. Yeah, there is another mod called Covenant at War, but it, it just, it plays up so much. Oh wait, it's just not worth playing it. Harsh as that sounds. Let's just send the fighters in. I want to see if they bring in any ships. Let's build a lot of marathons in reserve. Oh, my first ships have arrived. Some frigates. Why are they not bringing in any Covenant ships? They're, they're building fighters. Because I've seen Seraphs on the map. Well, I'm not seeing any Covenant capital ships. This is just something about the map they do not like. It's fine though, because we're still replay this mod and game anyway. I just want to show off all the ships. For the UNSC at least. God, what are my ships doing? They, are, they don't even know where they're going, do they? Got my frigates are firing their Mac cannons. I'm going to destroy something, destroy the shield generator. Still not seen any Covenant ships though, which is making this a bit easier than it really should have been. Because on normal difficulty, AI actually on this mod oh, isn't that bad. All my ships are on the way. Well, all my ships are on the way essentially. Yeah, then it's just building fire. It's okay, maybe the AI ain't working on this map, but that's just a, that's a shame, but I've committed now, so we're gonna have to finish these off. Hmm, most of my fleet is approaching as well. Matt cannons have been fired. It's gonna be a tough nut to crack just due to the fact it's a high level space station. Fast forward this a little bit actually, just so more my fleet can get. 
because we're essentially just grinding down this space station. It's not the most exciting thing. I have just built some serifs. No, my super carriers on the way as well. It's not even going to get. It. It's not even going to get there in time. Well, this is underwhelming, but at least you've got to see the full Arsenal UNSC effort at their disposal. Ain't it fun when the AI don't just bother to build anything? Oh, oh was it uneasy? No, nah, maybe it should not be uneasy. I thought it was a normal, but still, they should have built more ships than that anyway. Even uneasy on the base game, they at least build some cruisers. Anyway, so you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it gives you an idea of what the UNSC have to play around with on this mod. I will do another game in UNSC so we can have a full-on massive full-scale war against the Covenant. And also I'll probably make a video very similar to this video, playing as the Covenant, showing off all their units. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.